This video discusses how to import MARC records from Destiny and Tidal Wave. To get started, First Destiny needs to know your Tidal Wave account. So log in to your File at Destiny account, select Catalog, then click Tidal Wave in the sidebar of the Catalog tab. Enter your username and password and click Save. Now that you're set up, you can access Tidal Wave with just one click. Click the Library Materials icon to automatically log in to Tidal Wave. To import your MARC records, you get your MARC records by clicking the Order History tab. Select MARC Records Download. To import your MARC records, you can click Details to see the titles included for the order. Then click Import to start the import process. Recommendations when importing MARC records. Use the following recommendations when preparing to import MARC data into Destiny. They provide most of the information needed to ensure your catalog data is accurate and complete. You will need to consider the Collection Statistics Report. Run this before you import your records. This report will provide you with a starting or baseline count in each call number range in your collection. It will be used for comparison after the import is complete. You find this by going to Reports, Library Reports, Collection Statistics Historical. For title matching, use the settings indicated below for all MARC imports unless directed otherwise by the FALAT Software Technical Support. For title matching, select Strict. For an incoming title matches an existing title, check Replace the existing title if the incoming title is better. For copy matching, use the setting indicated below for all imports unless directed by the Filet Shelf Technical Support. Our library media specialists provide each vendor with a barcode range to be used for their orders. Vendors will use barcode numbers in descending order and begin where the barcodes ended for the previous order. Therefore, the selections indicated below should not be used. Do not use starting barcode or assign next barcode. Instead, for copying matching, select skip the incoming copy if its barcode matches an existing copy's barcode. For your job summary, all import files should first be previewed. When previewing your import file, it is recommended that you remove the check. This will allow you to preview all the copies in the data file. Since the data is listed in barcode number order, it will also allow you to identify the last barcode number used by this vendor. You will want to record that barcode number on your barcode tracking sheet. Tracking sheets can be obtained from your head librarian. The second time you preview your import file, it is recommended that you select the box to limit the job summary details. This will allow you to preview only the items that have warnings. These will need to be reviewed carefully to make sure all of the copies are being imported into Destiny as expected. After the import preview, a report for the import preview will be listed in your job manager. Review this report to identify any errors reported. The sample below indicates duplicate copies invalid copies, and invalid records. Details on these items can re be reviewed in the body of your report. 
When reports are lengthy, you can use the find from your browser to search for the terms. These items should be resolved before proceeding. There are several reports that will assist you after an import has been completed. It is expected that you use these reports to verify the destiny data with your items. These reports will also help to identify information that is missing from your data so it can be corrected more easily at the time of import. Select Title and Copy List. To find the title and copy list, go to Reports, Library Reports, Title and Copy List. Then select Date Copies Were Added, use On the Date, and use the date the MARC file was physically imported. Then select Show Titles with All Copies, and then run your report. The report will provide a listing of the items loaded for the given date. This list is in call number order and provides the ISBN number, price, and some circulation statistics for the items. Use this report to verify that titles and barcodes in Destiny match the items or books in your order. Your collection statistics report. Run this report immediately after the import. Once again, go to Reports, Library Reports, Collection Statistics Historical. Compare your after report with your starting report. Review so you can identify any problems with copy count, call number prefixes, or any other information that is not what is expected. This concludes the video on importing MARC records from Destiny and Tidal Wave.